Hello, friends, and thank you for your support on this Thanksgiving Eve. It is deeply appreciated. President Truman, November 27, 1947, reminded the nation that Congress passed a joint resolution December 26, 1941, designated the fourth Thursday of each November as Thanksgiving Day. Think about that for a second. Three weeks after Pearl Harbor, the nation came together around households in dinner tables to consecrate itself in the face of the global challenge of the World War II and the fight against tyranny in all of its forms. There was joy, there was despair, there was difficulty, there was hope. Much like today, when we face the pandemic, we are deeply concerned about those who are suffering, those who are ill. We're thankful for our first responders, to our medical personnel, to all those who stand in line fighting against the pandemic. We know that help is on the way via vaccinations and the like and better therapeutics. So as in that time, we appreciate the joy, the despair, the difficulties, the hope, and we extend all of our love to all those who are trying so hard to keep us safe. A couple of days after Thanksgiving 1947, the United Nations voted to partition Palestine into a Jewish and Arab state, November 29, 1947, at Lake Success, New York. A day of exultation and joy for the Jewish communities throughout the world. As the horror was danced underneath the Jewish Agency building in Jerusalem, David Ben-Gurion watched. He was asked to join, but he demurred, saying, I know the difficulties that lie ahead, even in the joy of the moment. And so it was. The birth of Israel came, but not without a remarkably difficult passage. Great glories, great triumphs, difficulties that remain to this day. And we also think about, at this time, the Jews of Gondor, the Jews of Ethiopia, who remain. We are hoping now, in this year, for the completion of the Ethiopian Aliyah, which has been a tremendous story, a wonderful story, on eagle's wings, you might say, bringing back the Jews of Ethiopia to Israel. But we must complete the Aliyah. And let us all work with the government of Israel to make sure that it happens. Thank you. Thank you, friends, for all of you your support of the JCRC. Please remember those who are hungry at this time, let us do all that we can to ameliorate the suffering of our fellow Americans and people throughout the world. And let us remember that in times of despair, there is always joy. And amongst our joy, we remember those who need our assistance. So thank you very much. God bless and have a wonderful and contemplative Thanksgiving. Thank you very much.